After standing in line for nearly 17 hours to get this RTX 3080 Ti, let's find out if it was worth it by seeing what's on the inside. Starting with the outside of the box, this thing looks almost like the RTX 3080 box except right here it says that TI, which with NVIDIA stands for titanium or their better class. Usually it goes vanilla, so like a 3080, then you have a 3080 Super, then you have a 3080 Ti, which is the top of that card's class. The only thing different about this box seems to be that TI. Um, looking at the box itself, I don't really see anything that's much different from the originals. I mean, it is sealed. We got that wonderful GeForce RTX 30 Ti right there on the edge there. So I did stand in line all night to get this card from Best Buy. Um, it was the first day release and they did only in-store pickup, only in-store purchase only, which was great because it avoided all the internet shenanigans of finding all those bots and all that, all that horrible stuff. So let's do the Cuddy McCutson, right? So let's cut right here. Ooh, nothing like breaking a brand new seal on a brand new video card. And that's all we're gonna probably need this knife for. All right, now that we cut the seals, we're gonna flip this box over and we're just gonna go ahead and slowly lift the cover. It is coming off slowly. It's gonna give a little shake, just like that. And we are greeted with the RTX 3080 Ti. Man, this is one beautiful card. I mean, the 3080 regular, the 3080 vanilla looked amazing. This also looks amazing. Of course, the only difference, well, there's a lot of differences actually, including maybe a potential LHR on this card. We don't know that yet. We're actually going to host a live stream today, which will be linked up here if you want to watch to find out if this did have the LHR in it or not. For those of you that don't know, LHR stands for the light hash rate restriction or something like that. Basically, it cuts the hash rate of Ethereum only in half. So let's take it out of this box and see what it looks like. All right, so it is in this wonderful foam packaging. After we take the card out, we have a little piece of foam right here. And we got this little box, just like the other one. This is probably the power adapter because it does take the special micro fit connector. And when we open the box, we are greeted with the 3080 Ti quick start guide. We got the support guide right there. Got some NVIDIA, you know, flavor text or whatever, some kind of warning card. And we have the 12 pin micro fit to dual eight pin adapter. So this is a 450 watt card. So it makes sense it needs dual eight pins. All right, so let's put everything back in this box. Okay, so everything is put back in the box. We're gonna put this little foam piece on and now we're gonna just set this to the side. And now we're going to look at the RTX 3080 Ti GPU right here. All right, so here's the RTX 3080 Ti in all of its glory. Got this wonderful little fan right here. This is just the backside of the card. Let's take off the PCIe connection cover. And he's got this wonderful black PCB right there. All right, so let's look at the top of the card. We got the GeForce RTX. That's like, um, yeah, that appears to be either painted or it feels kind of like laser engraved actually. We've got the 12 pin micro fit adapter right here. That's what that looks like. It's a special connector. That's why the box had that special connector for this card. And it appears we have a dual slot PCIe configuration. So that's pretty nice. Um, the 3090 is just massive. This is pretty cool. I like how it has one, uh, one layer of ports. It's not dual stack like a DVI or something right here. That way, if you were to put a water block on it, you could put like a single slot bracket on it. And this is a really nice steel bracket. We got some text right there, just some FCC information and such. So it appears that we have a HDMI Display port, display port, and another display port. So that's pretty standard stuff. We got another fan, and this is just all heat sinks. Heat sinks, heat sinks. And this bezel right here is uh, appears to be cut much sharper and much more on point than the uh, OEM 3080. And right here on the card, we have this wonderful laser engraving that tells us this is in fact a RTX 3080 Ti. Let me try to get that in focus there so you guys can see it. Kind of see RTX 3080 Ti. 
that is absolutely right there. Beautiful RTX 3080 Ti engraving. And just looking at the beauty of this car, this thing is definitely very beautiful. It's a very well-made, very nice made piece of hardware, that's for sure. There's the other side of the car, kind of looking at its glory. You can tell that this is a pass-through design right here. You could actually see the light through it. So the PCB on this card actually ends right here. Past this point, there is no graphics card. It is just all this right here that my hand's covering is just a heat sink. There is uh, nothing, there's no PCB there. You could actually see right through it. Um, let's give this a, a weigh. Let's find out um, what the weight of this card is. We're not gonna give it away. We're just gonna give it a weigh of its weight. So we're gonna put this on the scale right here and let's see what this weighs. So for our American friends, Wow, this thing is three pounds exactly. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an exact weight like that before. For our friends across the sea, this thing weighs one kilogram and 360 grams. So one kilogram, 360 grams is its weight. And let's take some measurements on this car and see how big it is. Its total length is a little over 11 inches. So about 11 inches and looks like an uh, eighth, a little over eighth, almost 11 and a quarter. I want to say just slightly under 11 and a quarter from the PCIe bracket. Um, let's see the thickness of the card. Thickness of the card appears to be right at an inch and a half, just slightly over an inch and a half, all right? Um, let's see the height, height of the card. So it's gonna be kind of hard to do, but I'm sure we can do it. We have the technology. So the height of the card, we're looking at roughly three inches and seven eighths or something very close to that for the metric units. So this thing is a total of about 290 centimeters long. Let's see the height of the card. So the height of the card is about 10 centimeters, a little bit less than 10 centimeters. And the width of the card, let's take a look. The width of the card, about 40, about 40 centimeters and maybe five mil 45 millimeters total, something like that. So I have been looking for a card that would fit in my upcoming Dan Case build. Make sure you get subscribed, by the way, because it's gonna be an awesome mini ITX build. Um, that, that case can take a card up to 295 millimeters. Let's see if this fits in that case. I have a spare one that's scrapped, that's got a bunch of parts missing and whatnot. Let's see if this fits in that case. Um, this is nothing fancy. It's just a cheap Chinese case. I actually got this on eBay for a pretty decent price. So this is our Dan case right here. And this is the side that the GPU would go in. Now, if this card fits in here, I might actually replace the 3060 I planned on using in here. So this is the area where the GPU would go inside the Dan case. As you can see, it's really not that big. There's not that much space. So does it fit? Does it fit is the question. Oh my God, it fits. The 3080 Ti fits inside the Dan case. I might actually be using this card for this case now. As you can see, it fits perfectly inside the Dan case. We still have plenty of room on the end here, plenty of space to put the 12 pin micro fit connector up here and plenty of space on the bottom for any wiring and whatnot. The only problem is the cooling on this, since it's pulling air in this way and blowing it against uh, essentially what would be the power supply, um, that might be a problem, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. If you are watching this video, that means the live stream for this card would have already happened. Make sure you go ahead and check that out after you watch this video. So if you liked what you saw in this video, consider getting subscribed so that way you will see future videos that are coming out, especially this Dan Case build. Also consider joining our Discord, which is called Misfit Mining. It's a collaboration of me and two other people called Chum Change XD and Teaspoon Miner. Come get joined and you could talk to me directly there or you could leave a comment down in the comments below. I do try to respond to every comment. So thanks for joining me guys in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, I almost hit the card. <laughs>